Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna do another tiny home. I'm really loving doing the tiny homes again at the moment and having the little randomization of the challenge has been so much fun. So this is our challenge. We're here in Brindleton Bay. We have 96 tiles out of a maximum of 100. So we got loads of space. We only have one sim, which I guess will be Samaj in this case. And we have a budget of 20,000, just over 20,000. So not terrible, not the best. And we have to include a bow, this bow here, which I mean, should be fine. Uh, Bit random, but it's okay, we can do it. Now I've already set our cash to the our budget, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, now, what I would like to do is I'd like to spend every single dollar of our budget. And I'd like to use every single tile of space. So we're gonna see how well we can do with that. Now, there's no wood that matches this world wood perfectly, but I think I might use this as a base. It's pretty close. Maybe that tone's a little bit better. It does use a fair amount of money, but you know, it is what it is. Now, Brindleton Bay style, sort of New England-ish. So first of all, let me see how much space that actually is is in terms of tiles. Like if I just build something like this, how much does this take up? 64, all right, that's not bad. So, okay, well we're at 92 now. A uh, second floor would be good. So I might have to just scale this all a bit. Okay, 92. So I want to use 96 precisely, which would be that. But I haven't done any detail on the back, so maybe let's figure this out. I think that'd be nice. I just gotta cut two tiles off somewhere else. So why don't we go and indent that little section maybe. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna indent this section maybe. All right, so I've got two tiles left, but let me just see. So I'm gonna do a roof styled like this, where you kind of do, I don't know the name of it, but you know, you have like the steeper sides and then like, you know, something like that. Although that does look very strange on a tiny house. <laughs> maybe it's a little steep. And then around the back, I did have this section sticking out, but I don't know that that actually looks that good. I thought it was gonna look better than it does. But what if we just extend the eve out? Then that kind of works. And then if we go, I gotta keep in mind the budget. I don't actually have that much money. I'm forgetting that bit, but how much do columns cost? 50 bucks? We, we could probably spring 50 bucks. We did a spandrel thing like that. Does that look silly? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, Yes, it's much easier just to use the two extra tiles for the roof and it looks a lot better. So let's just do that. Okay, so we're at 96 tiles. Pretty easy, no worries. Can we make the rest of this work? I guess let's find out. I think I might adjust the way this section of the building works just so the roof will work easier. So if I actually cut tiles out of this spot, okay, then let me just get rid of that for now. Then if we get the same roof here, rotate it like this, then we kind of have a section like that, do I? Uh, no, I think that's a, I think that's a no for me. I'm gonna go back. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get this same roof, move it here. Just have two sections of roof, that'll work better. I like this thing. It's Brindleton Bay styled. <laughs> it's probably too many. I, I, do, I was doing two because the previous house here had like four of them. I don't know if that's what I want to do though. We have like one over here. This wallpaper is so annoying. It has like the auto corner things and it's like it just doesn't do these corners for some reason. I guess it needs to be like further back like that. Yeah, it needs more space to do a corner there, which is annoying. In that case, I'll just use the one that doesn't have that. Which I think it's actually cheaper. Okay, beautiful. This is looking great. Okay, so let's have a look inside. I mean, I definitely think we're gonna do some sort of loft style bedroom. So why don't we get, I wanna get some stairs down here. I do like the L-shaped stairs, but there's not really a place I can put them that it doesn't take up a massive amount of space. So I'm thinking we just have to do a ladder because obviously that takes up the least amount of space. <laughs> it makes the most sense. So I think if I put a ladder here or, you know what? No, no, no. Let me, let me figure out. So I think got to have a nice door like this, you know, definitely. And then we need big windows. What if we did something like this? So it's almost like you could turn this into like another bedroom and then we'll have a bathroom here. And then this will be kitchen, living, dining. Oh, we could have this as a kitchen maybe. Uh, maybe make that a smaller window so we could have counters there. That actually might be a better idea. But then you could easily convert it to like more bedroom space if you wanted to. I don't know if this is, cause these are very expensive. I am aware I'm spending a lot of money right now. But I'm just getting, I'm getting the vibe. I'm feeling it out, okay? I will use a cheap door here for the bathroom though. All right, well, I, li I do like the idea of this being the kitchen actually. So if we were to go here with move objects, so we had something like that. Again, I'm aware I've spent a lot of money. So I think I need to, uh, <laughs> let me just cut back on these arches because those are 230 each. How much is it if we just did, oh wait, I can't put spandrels in the middle though, can I? Could do a spandrel here, gotta get rid of the fence. Versus a arch, how much, oh, whoops. How much did that cost? It is versus a wall doing an arch is actually like 12 simoleons. <laughs> Cause like once you factor in removing the wall and buying the columns, it costs like 12 simoleons to do this. So that is cheap, but it also looks silly with those particular columns. Um, 
Could just use a different one. Could use a cheaper comp. Actually, we could save money. This one only costs us two simoleons if we do this setup. <laughs> so that, that's what I call a bargain, okay? This one's 50 bucks. I might just use these. Uh, God, these doors are so expensive. Early on in The Sims 4, they were making such expensive doors. This is $500 versus like a door that came later on. This is $95. It's like, what? There's no consistency. Anyway. I'm gonna use these arches. I don't fully love them, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, so I kind of feel like if the kitchen is there, should we do like a little dining space? Now, it doesn't have to be a big dining space because there's only technically one sim living here. I do also should have a, I should have a door out the back so we don't have to go around the front. So maybe we could just put one here. Ooh, I really like this new paneling. Although uh, the problem is I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but everything's pretty much white at the moment. So maybe we can mix in, can I do like a darker section maybe? Or do we just do the whole room the darker blue? That's kind of nice. It's definitely very classy looking because it's like got a shiny sort of metal in- Oh my gosh, wait, how much does the ceiling of this cost? <laughs> Four bucks? How much does that cost if we do the ceiling? Hang on, let me do it this way. 160? <laughs> I think that's a waste. Okay, I don't have a lot of money. I, I want this to be nice, you know? Okay, so I've spent a little time going in a direction. I, I don't know. <laughs> Still, the, uh, so I changed the wall back to white. I've got blue on the couches, but I don't know. I, I feel like the problem is I have the vision, but I clearly don't have the budget. Because what I really want to do is add a lot more decorations and clutter everywhere, uh, especially through here to add color that way. But that's not going to work because I don't have that much money. So I'm wondering if I maybe should just change, maybe clean up the chairs a bit, make the table a bit richer, maybe... Mm, that color's probably better, just goes with stuff more. I might have to start deleting stuff because I've only got 9,000 left. We haven't really done the kitchen yet. Also, I still have to do a ladder upstairs, by the way. I haven't figured where that's going. Maybe we can just go in the middle, like here. What is that like? Because then if we, we put something behind it, obviously. What if we did another bookcase, like here? And then that almost like turns into like a little reading area. Oh, maybe I'll just use this over here. Maybe move this over a little bit. I mean, maybe. I think it's got potential. Um, I don't think I have the budget, though. Because I think this could look really cute, especially if I- how much do these cost? These are $2.50 each. Um, I think I need to save money on these. Oh, none of the bookcases are cheap at all. Like, the cheapest you get down to here is like 60 These are still 60 and 80 simoleons, so. Alright, well let's leave that idea, that area cooking. Over here, I think I might have to cheapen out the kitchen quite a bit. Because those are $200 a pop, uh, which is not too bad. Can we go- we can go 150 What do these look like in- because they have new colors. Well, new newer than they used to be we could do something like that or that one Ugh. well you know what let's see if we can keep these these look these look nice might have to cheap out of the fridge though get a good old-fashioned yum cooker nice and cheap and then we can just get a crappy sink it's all you need i would like to decorate it but you know we'll, we've got to start somewhere now the bathroom has no windows i never actually put windows in this area because i just figured i'd do it later unfortunately later is now and i do need to buy some windows i guess probably just one is actually fine yeah that's all we need i think that actually looks fine and it's up high so that should work all right so Bathroom wise, we do actually have, oh, okay. I'm not using cats and dogs for this. It's too expensive. We got to go cheap. We got to do the good old bargain basement. There you go. As cheap as we can go. Well, technically we can get a cheaper shower, but it's like the open one. So I figured I'd just get the enclosed cheap one. I will do a mirror. I'm not a monster. 50 bucks. There you go. And some toilet paper. Beautiful. All right. Bathroom done. So the problem is this place is definitely still very white, which is not bad because I like that. But I think, oh, that... That already makes a big difference, I think. Maybe darker floors. Maybe that's what we need. And then keep like the lighter wood furniture. I think that looks good. I'm not sure what's going on over here. Oh, oh yeah, I don't know if we saw this, but this this wall is this wood paneling, which I actually, I did that to contrast the darker walls before, but I actually don't think I need to do that anymore. So I might change that. Just make it all the white walling. This haunch ra horse ranch? <laughs> this haunch ranch. Uh, no, this horse ranch coffee table could actually be quite nice. Ooh, it's got the blue. Although it's probably too much blue. I think if we're doing the lighter wood furniture like this, that could work. Just have a more, yeah, yellowy tone. It actually might be a bit better with everything that we're doing. Ooh, actually, you know what? No, let's go back to white. That's nice. Huh? <laughs> it would be nice to have something on the table. Not that big. Like a little, one of these? Yeah. And then down over here, maybe. Because some of these things are pretty cheap. So I think we can afford some stuff. Actually, is there a nice clutter? There's so many clutter packs now. There's definitely going to be something we can put down over here. Get like a little notebook. Oops. You know what? No, not a notebook. What about, um... 
How about the tray? The tray is a classic. It's only 40 bucks. I don't know if I like that, but that's what I'm doing. All right, well, let, let me pop upstairs first. So I've got this ladder here, which is kind of weirdly in the middle. We definitely need something behind there. Um, actually, you know what would be good? A desk, a single desk, one of these. And I think if I just move this back this way a little bit, do so they sort of share the middle? section here a bit better. That might work. I don't know about this desk in particular. Look, maybe even just this. And then we could put, check this out, remove the wall, position a shelf. I don't know if I like this, but we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see if it works. Get some books up there. Get a, a little candle or something. I don't know. Some little pens and notepad thing. I don't know. So then, yeah, you can, uh, you know, you'll know, be able to add, st okay, can I have this like, actually, I'll put it back over here. Maybe this is a better spot. Put it there. Yeah. So you can have, you know, a little works set up there. That's good. A little living room here. Okay. It's coming together. Bit of blank space there and over here, which would probably be good with a mirror. Can I afford? And get the new mirror, the elegance. But this is Brindleton Bay. Actually, what about this mirror? This mirror is pretty cool. A little bit random here. Oh, that one has a big crack in it. <laughs> Maybe not that one. How much is the other? Oh gosh, $700. Hmm. What about this one? This one's also 700. Is this like a little over the top? Yeah. Oh, actually this growing together one's pretty good. I don't know about the paneling on this wall actually because it sort of gets interrupted by these doors and it looks a little silly. What if we did that sort of cats and dogs one maybe? Hmm. Maybe just this. Yeah, that's better. Just get the vertical paneling, that works. All right, then we have that mirror there, which I actually quite like. You know what, we've actually got, you know what, I feel like we got loads of money left. I know I haven't done the upstairs yet, but this is not too bad. All things considered, not too bad. How much is this? 110, we can afford that. That's cute. Okay, that's good. I mean, there's nothing in this little entrance area, but let's see if we can do the upstairs now. So I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna put that up here. We are going to, maybe we do this? No, the same wall, maybe not. You know what, maybe just the, what about this cats and dogs one that I was gonna do, but then I didn't. Yeah. All right, so upstairs has got two big windows, pretty nice. Question is, I only need one swim up here. Do we try and do a bathroom up here as well? Or do I just make it one big open space? I feel like there should be a door to the bedroom though. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but we'll just leave it open. Maybe just leave it open. So if I put this big double bed down here, it does sit in front of the window. What about this one? Hmm. Now I can't go sideways, it just means Sims would have to scoot in. Now technically I only needed room for one Sim in this challenge. Actually how much are these beds? 2,000? 3,000? Good lord, okay. Um, see it would be better to go this way. Cause then you can, you have option for a second Sim. Maybe if I go like that, is there a different window we could do up here maybe that looks better? Above the bed? Like the shorter windows really. Yeah if we just put those up there, that still looks good. Yeah. Back we can keep the bigger window. And then inside the bed, Fits nicely. Don't know about these cover choices, but the bed itself fits well. I think this is a plain white is the best option. Give it a little bit of pizzazz with that blue curtain. There you go. It's cute, maybe. <laughs> you know, this budget's not so bad. I got 3,000 left. I probably just have a random pillow over here. This pillow is strange. It's kind of just like a freestanding pillow. It's like, what am I supposed to do with that? I mean, it could put it at the end of the bed, maybe. But even then, I need move objects. Okay, this clutter is expensive. Let me let me do the rest of this bedroom first. I only got three thousand left. Also, we haven't done anything outside except for a bunch of wood, <laughs> so I might want to do something there too. Dresser is four ten, not too bad. Do a mirror above it. Do like this one. And that's kind of like a bathroom mirror. That is kind of weird, isn't it? Maybe not, because <laughs> it's got the big door on it. Do that one. That's a good one. There you go. Definitely need like a rug, maybe for a little bit of uh, color. And when I said color, I mean no color because this rug doesn't have a truck. Uh, <laughs> not that one. Maybe, oh, actually this one's always good. Hmm. I don't know if this is quite the right vibe. Train to build. Uh, I mean, look, it's something. But this place feels very small and that's because it is. I suppose this doesn't need to be right up here, does it? We could probably move it down here. Just make this place feel a lot bigger. Without having that cramp right here. And then how much was this armchair? Oh, I got rid of, oh, it's over here. <laughs> How much was this again? 150, that's not bad. Like, can we get that up here maybe? Cause then you could have like a little spot here to get ready. Okay, what about this? We have like a little get ready area with a bookcase and a little reading chair again. Um, it does leave this spot a little blank, but I'm a little strapped for cash. I would like to put more stuff in here, but I think I need to maybe spend money on some other stuff first. I think this should probably be a different color maybe. Maybe like that or like a darker color potentially. Yeah, maybe more like that. Maybe this just needs a window here. I feel like there's something there's something going on here that it's missing. Cause we could do two windows like that, which I think are in the same spot. Yeah, they look a little low, I might go a little higher. Yeah, yeah, cause then there's loads of windows, loads of natural light. $800 left. Again, I would like to put more stuff in here. Like, that, don't get me wrong, I do feel like it's a little empty, but that's okay. I think we, we got everything we need. Now the actual house itself on the outside, uh, it's, it's okay. It's, look, a little blank, but 
you know, they come to the territory of uh, Tiny Home. Okay, so we can do that. Now, we have 800 simoleons left exactly. Is there stuff we could do? Well, not those kind of trees. We could do like, how much are like these, for example? Like, oh, that's tiny. I need like a big thing. I guess we could do like free debug plants. Um, but I could get, or I could get one of these for 750. <laughs> so if I go using the better build by mod, I go live edit and I guess debug as well. Then if I just filter cats and dogs, will we get good stuff or no? No, I will just look at everything. And then I'll go, I'm actually gonna turn off regular stuff. So we're only seeing debug stuff and debug stuff is free. So that's good. So we can get this kind of fencing here. That's over that side. Maybe we could do like a little fenced area around the back. I decided not to use the, um, the debug fence. I just used an actual fence because I did actually spend some of our money, which is kind of good. And I'm actually using, I think the, is it cottage living fencing? Cause it matched a little bit better. So I can just do that. And then we have like this little sort of backyard area that we can use. Backyard area we can use. You know what? Why don't we remove some of this? Okay, that looks a little too green. So I'm gonna do like a little bit of green and then like a Brindleton Bay style tree, you know? There you go. What if we just did some of those over here? Not like, I don't know about trees, but oh. But if we just do some plants in these, maybe? I need the bigger flower bushes. Yeah, here we go. One of these, one of those. I'm gonna change the colors and stuff. I don't know, just kind of do like plant. It's kind of like over there, you know? Uh, that's good. I have eight simoleons left. Now, what did I think? Oh, you know what I forgot? <sighs> forgot a bin. <laughs> and I know you're saying mailbox, but the mailbox is here, so that's fine. Don't worry about that. But I did forget a bin, so we will need to sell some of this. Suppose I don't need all this fence, do I? Well, why don't I just get rid of this bit here? Because that was just going to be a gate anyway. I mean, I might as well just get rid of this. What do I need? Whoops. What do I need this fence for? I mean, outdoor bins suck anyway. They always get knocked over, so who cares? I might put it over here. Ooh, I nearly forgot my bow. Ooh, that's 70. Dang it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nearly forgot it, but I didn't. That's the important thing. I was just having a look at my checklist again. All right, here we go. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe it could just be like in here. Look, it's just a little bow. That's nice. Uh, or it does have a lot of colors actually. So we might actually be able to use this. Maybe make it like the same sort of color as the rest of the house. And then nice little bow here below the window. That's nice. All right, four simoleons. What can I do for that? Gotta be really 10 simoleons. Is it, that's the cheapest you got? Eight. All right. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. What was this? Oh, zero? Really game? That's not gonna help me. Oh, here we go. I think some of these are worth one. Yeah, here we go. We can get some paws. Climbing the walls, paws on the wall. Why are they all on the wall? What about they on the floor? I guess that'd be in rugs. No, that's just, they cost money. Any plants? That tree's one dollar. Kind of dead and doesn't suit the style at all, but uh, you get four of these. Oh, actually, if there's a different wallpaper that costs more money, that's potential. There you go, minus three. That didn't help me. That actually made it worse because I just have one of those. <laughs> All right, let's just do these. We're in the pets world, so we might as well get some paws. Um, what about long here? That's nice. Look at this. <laughs> Is that nice? I don't know. <laughs> well, I spent all the money, so there you go. I mean, that's pretty nice. I, I would, again, I would like to do some more decorations, I think. Uh, uh, definitely more clutter and stuff might be nice. I might just put this over this side. Actually, can I just do, oh, I know it's insufficient funds, but can I just change the color? Because changing the color, oh, game, really? It doesn't even let me select it to do it. Okay, fine, I'll delete it and then you're gonna let me. Does that look silly if we did that? Maybe it should be a different floor. That's kind of cool. Or maybe that one. I don't know, there's a few options. I kind of like that. All right, still at zero dollars. Let's have a look at my little checklist here. No more than 96 tiles. I see 96 out of 100. Okay, check that off. So I like Brindleton Bay. I mean, if this isn't a Brindleton Bay build, I don't know what is. So there you go. Uh, young adult, yes, obviously you have room for that. Budget, yeah, that's exactly what we use. And we use the bow, so that is good. All things considered, it's pretty good. We don't have an indoor bin, kind of annoying, but we do have a pretty nice kitchen. Bathrooms are great. Uh, big living space and, and dining area as well, which is great. Bin outside and then upstairs, double bedroom. So I think all together, it's a very nice little house. And I think Samaj here is really gonna like it. <laughs> if you wanna download this house, I'll link it in the description down below. But thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. Uh, I've been really enjoying these tiny builds. Oh, actually, speaking of members, this week is really exciting because now that I'm back in Sydney, I had a look at some of my old computers because I lost the original files for a Luna Island, which was my custom world that I made for The Sims 3. But Big news. I found the files. I was able to install the Sims 3 Creator World and load up the editor. Pretty cool. So I think this week as a members video, we're going to have a look at that Aluna Island Creator World file. We're going to open up the old Creator World software, have a look at it. I'm pretty excited. It's pretty cool. So if you're not already a member, now's a good time to join. We already have like 
nearly, I think, 40 videos you can already watch. And you can sign up for a month, watch them all, and then leave. And then you're good. A lot of good content there. We've got new videos every week coming out for members, obviously. And obviously new videos for everyone too. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.